Urine is sterile. Did you know that? If you're in the field, you can clean a man's wound by taking a whiz on it. That is actually in first aid books written by the Red Cross. We play hard and we work hard. Sometimes we uh, probably play hard when we should be working hard, but that's probably my fault, but <laughs> fire me. <laughs> boring, isn't it? Just staying home watching TV every night. Uh, yeah. Not for me, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, I spent the first month trying to uh, remind my boss that there is no why in paper. I'm not afraid of violence in the workplace either. No, I mean, not me. Some people here are. Some of the secretaries, not me. Check this out. See this? It's 90% red hot peppers imported from Cuba. All right. I'm... The guy's done, paralyzed for two weeks straight. I'm not afraid. No, I'm, I'm trained in this uh, from being a sheriff's deputy. Volunteer? <laughs> Volunteer sheriff's deputy. Yeah, whatever, okay. I'm a uh, sales rep, which means that my job is to speak to clients um, on the phone about quantity and, and, and type of paper and, you know, if we can supply it to them and if they can uh, purchase it. And I'm, I'm boring myself just talking about it, so. That's, I can't, I can't even. Uh, I'm a sales rep, which means that my job is to speak to clients on the phone about uh, quantity, type of paper, uh, whether we can supply it to them, whether they can uh, pay for it. I'm boring myself just talking about, to be honest, it's, uh... Urine is sterile, okay? That's a fact. Did you know that? When you are in the field, you can clean a wound by whizzing on it. True. It is in the first aid guidebook from the American Red Cross Association. So it's totally unfair for me to get in trouble for whizzing in the sink. I hope they get rid of me because then I might actually get off my ass and do something. Because I don't think it's many little girls' dreams to grow up and be a receptionist. And I don't know what I'm going to do, but whatever it is, it's got to be a career move, not just another arbitrary job. And Jim's advice was that it's better to be at the bottom of a ladder that you want to climb than halfway up one you don't. What did you watch on TV last night? I didn't. I rented a movie. I watched that. Special Victim SVU. Never seen that. Friggin' repeat. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? Not for me. I hadn't seen it. It is a question of trust. It's communication. Do you trust me? Do you trust me? Yes or no? Yes. I trust you. I, I like that. Because it's not often that you get something that's both romantic and thrifty. So there's that going. I said if corporate wants to come here and interfere, you ain't messing with my chillin, I am if anyone's going to. Yeah, but Michael, what if they do downsize here? Not gonna happen. It could be out of your hands, Michael. Uh, was there anything that you wanted to add to the agenda? Okay, I'm into foreign films. I read The New Yorker, love Shakespeare. Did you happen to see the Dunder Mifflin flag out in the parking lot? And then inspiring. I think I want it on my, my coffin. Hey, baby, uh, you got here? Uh, yeah, would you mind if I went out for a drink with these guys? Uh, no, no, no. let's, let's, let's go here, let's go home. It's a gimmick, I think, really. You know, casual Friday, one day you let your hair down, that's pathetic. Michael, go on. Can we not talk about downsizing? Well, we have to sooner or later. Yes, but right now what we have to decide is do you fold Stanford people into this branch or vice versa? Actually, people say I am the best boss they've ever had. The world's greatest boss given to me. They go, um, Michael, we have never worked in a place like this before. I mean, you uh, are a riot. <laughs> um, you get the best out of us. And I say, well, hey, que sera, sera. You know? And if it's true, awesome.
is queso rosso? <laughs> well, it's kind of it's it it's kind of a non sequitur, is what I've been told. It's kind of you know kind of filler words. Have you ever heard of filler words? Yes. It's kind of it's kind of like that. You know, um, queso rosso. Um, if I had to define what it meant, I'd say. Um, What what context did I use it just then? Uh, 